Rob Alden here, IMAX Productions and 10 Minute Design. I'm doing a quick tutorial today how to extend a photograph to fit a Facebook cover photo. Okay, so I've got a photo here of my dog and I want to use this as my cover photo. Okay, so first thing we're going to do, hit Command or Control A, select the whole canvas, copy, Command or Control C. Okay, now here's the Facebook cover uh, photo dimensions. You can download this template, 10minutedesign.com, and we're simply going to paste. Now, obviously, it's a high res image, freakishly large, so all we want to do is find the center point here, hit command and control T for transform, mm -hmm. come up here, and maybe do 23%, it's going to lower it, and then we can lower it even more. Okay? Now, obviously an issue an issue with, cover, with uh, Facebook cover photos is they're very uh, wide, so it's hard to often frame a photo properly to fit the dimensions, and this is where this tutorial comes in handy. Okay? Now there's a few techniques we can use. And I will show you those techniques. Okay, first we're going to make a copy of our layer. Interesting fact, if you guys don't know, you can hold down Alt or Option and hold it down and simply drag a, photo, a, a layer to make a copy of that layer. Okay, pretty cool fact. So, a simple way. Now, I would not recommend this way for this particular technique, but let's say you only had about this much, this little area right here. That's the only area you needed to fill in. Here's a simple technique that will work. You will copy this part, hit Command or Control T, and simply extend. Like I said, sometimes it works. In this case, obviously not, because it's stretching a bit too far. But if you're just stretching a little bit, this technique actually works. I've used it many times. It does work, okay? But we're not going to do that because it's not the greatest idea. Okay, so back to where we were. We have our duplicated layer. Hit Command or Control T again for transform, and we're going to flip horizontally. What we're going to do now is we're going to align the photo, we're a little bit of an overlap, this way, okay? And what we can do is give it a mask, get our gradient tool, make a little feathered edge this way, so it'll blend a lot nicer, just like that. And then what we want to do is take the two layers, come here to layer merge layers. So now there are one layer. Okay? Now here's the position we want. That's fine. Now, obviously, this is already looking pretty good, but the problem is, right down the middle, it's clearly a mirror image. So we don't want that. So what we can do is grab the clone tool and then simply remove the parts of the image. You're sampling Hold down Alter Option to sample, and then paint. And this can add a bit of variation to the point where we're not looking too mirrored. We don't want it a mirror image of the other side. Simple techniques, you just reverse the image, place it beside, use the clone tool, mask it out, make it look better. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this quick tutorial. Um, please, like the, like the video, comment below, let me know what kind of photo editing tutorials you'd like, you'd like to see. If you'd like to see more photo editing tutorials, specifically with my dog, Loki, uh, we've got these two tutorials here, which is a really cool way of stylizing images, so please click on those, check it out. Uh, follow me on Twitter, and check out the website 10minutedesign.com. Thanks for watching, have a great day, guys.